As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah From the things that the people have innovated into the religion That which has no part and no basis Is the intention and the uttering of the intention At the beginning of the prayer So we find one of them He stands on his prayer mat And he says I face the Qibla and I'm going to pray four rak'ahs for the sake of Allah, for the Salah of Dhuha behind this Imam according to the Sunnah of the Messenger and yet SubhanAllah five minutes have passed and he's still saying his intention and I remember as a child SubhanAllah we had to learn the intention, I remember learning the intention and it was more difficult than the Salah itself my dear brothers, my dear sisters, there is no uttering of the intention in the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ before you pray. Okay? So, you didn't go and make wudu, and you didn't ensure that your clothes were clean, and the place of worship is clean. You didn't ensure that you're facing the qibla. You didn't ensure that the time for the salah has come in. You didn't ensure that you are praying with the jama'ah in the masjid, etc. You didn't do all of these things to go and dance okay your intention was your doing of the action okay your intention was your taking and your making the preparations to pray so you did all of those things because you intended to pray have you ever gone and stood outside the door of the masjid and said oh Allah now I am entering into the masjid to pray the salah of Maghrib Three rak'ahs behind this imam facing the qibla according to the sunnah. Wallahi, you've never done it. And if you saw somebody doing it before his prayer, you'd think this guy has lost his mind. Okay? So there's no uttering of the intention before the prayer. Okay? You stand there and you ensure that the conditions of the prayer, etc., all of those have been fulfilled. And then you say, Allahu Akbar, and you begin your prayer. Okay? There's no need to try and have an eloquent. Niyyah. Allah says Ala ya'lamu man khalaqa wa huwa al khabir So should Allah not know the one who created So Allah Jalla wa Ala He knows why you're standing on that uh, on that prayer mat He knows why you're facing the qibla Why you went and made your wudu etc etc And most importantly We do not find in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam That before he uh, began his prayer He would uh, utter any words like this and so we see that this is an innovation and we see that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said man ahdatha fi amnina hadha ma laysa minhu fahuwa rad whoever innovates something into uh, this affair of ours that which is not from it then it's going to be rejected so this is one of the things one of the uh, rejected innovations in al-islam my dear brothers and sisters leave it off okay when you pray you've got to do what you've got to do but you do not need to utter the intention before the salah in any language and i hope that this video clarifies inshallah especially for our uh, Asian brothers and sisters because it seems that more emphasis is placed on the intention than on the actual prayer itself subhanallah so the people they will uh, they will be spending their time to focus and perfect the uttering of the intention yet they completely ignore the recitation of Al-Fatiha they completely ignore doing the correct ruku, how to uh, prostrate properly they completely ignore these things so we need to refocus and focus on those things that matter I ask Allah Jalla wa'ala to guide us Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh